Hey there, Sharon Hornell Smear. Welcome to day 2190 of What Shift to Now, documenting the journey. I just up online every day and talk about what I'm doing. Originally, as I transitioned from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business, then with the pandemic back and forth, because for a long time, I believe we should have our feet in both worlds. We should have multiple streams of income. I think I talked about this yesterday, but uh, it's important that we have more than one thing going on, especially with how crazy the world gets sometimes. Uh, we are in a a tough season, I think, as a world. And the world, just like everything else, goes in ebbs and flows. Heard Tony Robbins uh, being interviewed by Tucker the other day, and it reminded me of how much I think like him. I think because I've followed him for so long. Uh, <clears throat> it's just really interesting. But we're tra talking about how we are now in the winter season. Winter comes after, you know, there's winter, spring, summer, fall, right? Uh, spring and fall are times of growth and expansion and a lot of change and usually a lot of positive things. Summer is, you know, just the coasting type period. And the winter is a tough time when we wonder if it's ever going to get over. And if you live where it's cold, like I do, you know exactly, uh, you really can relate to that uh, metaphor because the seasons are <clears throat> something that we experience. I live in Wisconsin and so we have all four seasons and we, they're distinct and clear and Different, they're different all the time, but they come every single year, right? Every year we have a winter. Every year we have spring following winter. And a lot of time during the winter, we get cabin fever and we're like, is this ever going to be over? Is the sun ever going to shine? I remember just a week or so ago thinking, it's been like a month since the sun actually broke through the clouds. Then we had about four or five sunny days in a row, but it got really, really cold. So <clears throat> there's the good, the bad, with the bad, there's the positive and negative of everything. And it's how we decide to respond to it that really matters. So today, second day in a row, I've had to do a video twice, which is, you know, technologically frustrating, but I'm like, Hey, it just is what it is. Why don't I, why do I get frustrated at all or upset about it? Just do it. Right. And I've, I've come to learn that if something goes and goes and cycles and it doesn't process right away, it's probably not going to process and I might as well just do it again. So Two days in a row, it took me two days to figure that out. It's like, okay, just redo it. So I did that and <clears throat> kind of takes a toll on my voice. Excuse me. <clears throat> there we go. So what am I working on today? This year, our, our annual challenge is the Let's Grow Annual Challenge. We're doing one thing every day to grow. And right now we're creating our seven step goal process and it just happens to be seven steps i don't know if that's the best or if they're all essential we're playing with it we're actually working through an example in our own lives as part of the challenge right now so we're on step three and i am actually this is my process i'm struggling with how can i make the acronym growing represent the steps of our process and so far we're on day three and it's not a great fit, but I use organize options or organize uh, to deal with the step, which is our action plan. So day one was our goal. What is it that we want? G, right? Day two was what's our current situation? So what results are we getting now? So there I got my R. And then today it's action plan. What's our action plan? It's step three. So I'm going to go with with organized options right now or organize because you want to organize what are you going to do how are you going to fill that gap what steps are you going to take to fill that gap and then i'm in probably in pretty big trouble for the rest of the four for wing because none of the steps really i'll, I'll come up with a creative way to describe them i think i've actually got it actually so we'll see over the course of the week how that ferrets itself out and if I can actually make it happen or not. And if I can't, I can't. The steps are going to be the steps, whether we call them growing or not. I just personally like to have a way of having an acronym that makes sense to me, that makes it easier to remember so I can install that in my subconscious. And whenever I hear growing, it automatically triggers that process for me. And I work through that process. Uh, but that's it. If I can help you in any way, hit me up and ask. Uh, it's a lot going on. I really am actually still this month catching up from last month and the whole dumb COVID thing. Uh, I'm not very good at being sick. I I admit it. I mean, I do it and I just keep moving through it, but uh, it messes up my rhythm and my energy. And so I'm still working to get that back. But I'm here if you need me. Just ask. Let's have an awesome day. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow sharing strategies for supersize your business this year and a lot of different topics. Been doing 
idioms for five years and I got sick of doing them. And so this year we're doing something different. I'm just talking a lot about uh, key business building, supersizing, scaling, uh, tips, tricks, and strategies that work and have worked for me and lessons that I've learned along the way of those. And so I'm doing that every day. So today we talked about 10 different team building strategies. And I asked, what's your favorite one? Because I have my favorite. I have my, uh, like everybody else, we have things that have worked really well for us in the past. and We want to keep doing more of those. And the things that haven't worked very well, sometimes we revisit them. But sometimes we never revisit them because we learned that they're not for us. All right. Have an awesome day. And I'll of course be with you tomorrow.